All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So the number one question for the Ravens offseason is what are they going to do with Lamar Jackson? So there's a couple of different angles that you can look at this at. So they've offered Lamar Jackson contract extensions, I believe, the past two summers, and he has declined. Uh, he's a free agent now. Uh, you know, there's talks that they're going to put a tag on him uh, and continue to negotiate. The albatross that is hanging over their head, the albatross in the room, is the Deshaun Watson contract. So the Deshaun Watson contract, as everyone knows, is fully guaranteed. And I believe... Lamar Jackson is looking at that contract, looking at the contract that Kyler Murray got and said, listen, I'm better than both of these dudes. I produce better than both of these dudes. Uh, we have one more than both of these teams. I need to get paid similar price of the brick. It has to be a similar price. And because of Lamar Jackson's style and the fact that he's been injured for extended periods the past two years, it is smart of the Ravens to look at this situation and say, hey, is this guy going to age like a running back or is he going to age like a quarterback? Uh, we're seeing a lot of these running quarterbacks uh, get to the twilight of their careers and having precipitous fall offs. Uh, you know, they said similar things about Cam Newton. Uh, you're seeing situations like that with Russell Wilson now. And like a running back, the concern is if we pay this guy now, are we paying for past performance or his better years behind him? So what ends up happening? Uh, you know, the Ravens, I think they're going to, once again, try to make him a contract offer. Uh, Lamar is his own agent. I believe he has his mom that's helping them, but he doesn't really have an agent. I believe if he had an agent, the situation probably would have been taken care of. Um Previously, the agent probably would implore him to sign, especially with his style of play. You know, if he ends up tearing the ACL or uh, Kyler Murray chain tears ACL, I mean, that could completely change this guy's financial future. I, I don't think any agent would abide by him playing football until this contract situation is negated. Um, I don't see a situation where you could have a player of his caliber come back on a franchise tag. I don't think we've ever seen it. We've seen like Kirk Cousin level quarterbacks do that we've never seen a, a quarterback of his caliber do that so I, I think honestly it, it sounds crazy but I think this is probably going to lead to him getting traded um you know there's a couple teams that are quarterback country hungry you have the Colts uh you have a uh, Washington football team uh you have uh you know he wants to play in Miami you know they've been loyal to Tua, so I don't see that happening but uh, you know, there's a couple of places you can see him going. Could they get a bounty? The team that strikes out, there's going to be multiple bidders for Bryce Young. The team that strikes out on that bid, do they then come in and say, hey, Lamar Jackson's sitting right there? You know, a team like the Colts, where they just won uh, or the NFC Championship and went to the Super Bowl with a Jalen Hurts, a running quarterback who is. Uh, you know, adopted some pass skills. Does uh, Shane Sykes can look at this and say, hey, let's bring this guy in. Let's add something to the weapon base and let's roll. Let's get ready to try to win the division now. This might not have to be a long rebuild. Uh, I can see that happening. Uh, if I'm the Ravens, I make him a fair contract offer. I'm sorry we could not get to that Deshaun Watson price. That price was inflated by just the thirstiness of the Browns. That was a price of the brick that no other team was willing to play. He's just got to get that out of his mind. And if he's unwilling to play for that, I would honestly, again, think about trading him. I just don't think you can bring this by. You know, he's it's starting to affect the locker room. Um, you know, he's starting to post, you know, himself and other people's jerseys, and then he's taking them down. Like, he's starting to just get weird. And winning a Super Bowl is hard. You have that Chiefs juggernaut in your conference that you have to take care of. You have the Bengals in your division that are coming up that you have to take care of. It requires focus. It requires buy-in. And you're not going to do that when you got your leader of your team, you know, he's halfway in, halfway out. And I'm not blaming them. He wants to get paid. He feels like he's better. You know, save that crying for your mama. I don't want to hear about that, oh, the Browns did this and the Cardinals did that and they were dumb. They set the price of, and I'm I'm over performed what the price for those players is. So why shouldn't I get more? 
So I understand that this ain't no knock on Lamar. That's not this. That's not what this is, is at all. It's just a what do the Ravens do in this situation? And I think that I think it's just going to lead to them trading him. I just don't see a common ground uh, being formed, especially because he's his own agent, especially because I think they're starting to become hard feelings in the organization and with Lamar towards each other. I just think it's just time for a separation. All right, let me know what you think. The game is again.